Hello, welcome back. Closing bell on family investment. It's been a sell-off. VIX has hit almost as 23 and that boom trigger looking through my stock list of what to buy because that's my strategy for 2021. Buy when the VIX is high. And then guess who I bought today? Tesla. I've committed to Tesla and this is my rule. I'm buying more Tesla. So I bought more Tesla. It's a lot for my for my background, for my affordability. I've seen guys buying hundreds and fifties today. It's incredible. So I bought one Tesla on my eToro account so it benefit my copy portfolio. I bought two on my trading 212 account commission-free Robinhood equivalent. I had to sell Etsy and Vuzix, take good healthy profits and go boom, straight on Tesla, two Tesla shares, so I'm happy. And also I got my wife to join the bandwagon and now she's got additional, additional 12 Tesla shares. And how did I do that? I took profits off Berkshire Hardaway. Berkshire Hardaway went to all time high yesterday. I thought it's time to take profits. I do not want to go into the oil game. So I took profits 25% profit and then to take it straight in dump buy 12 shares of tesla and that's healthy lock it in so this is my tesla's movement today i'm very very happy because i focus on my buy trigger so if you've seen my previous video or if you're new here you can check my buy trigger series i speak about tesla a lot and my first buy trigger was 780 and then when it hit 780 today even as low as 775 bang i bought my first two stocks and then subsequently i kept buying and it went all the way to 782 bought it and i was happy because it was creeping towards the 800 again so why did it go down and go up for tesla because halfway through cnbc got katie wood katie wood of arc invest coming in talking about how bullish she was on tesla in fact the stuff that she was explaining in today's uh, episode was no difference from what she has been saying for the last 18 months anyway bullish on the right hailing economy the network that's coming out the insurances how tesla is benefiting with their battery day so it's the same stuff we still believe the roadmap hasn't changed which is good news and we've been buying more tesla myself and i hope Everyone out there who's been following me should get a bit of Tesla for yourself, for your kids. I know there's lots of non-believers, but then there's no other company that can think better than Tesla. Maybe Fiverr. Okay, also not just Tesla. I've been focusing on two ETFs today, topping up on my eToro account to benefit my copy of portfolio to make sure that we diversify. It's ARK Finance. That's the first one, Arc F. So Arc Finance holds loads of great e-commerce payment platform, PayPal Square, who owns Bitcoin, and also the likes of mainly uh, Shopify, who's done really well on their earnings. So instead of buying those individual stocks, I let Katie Wood deals with it, with no cost, no fees on the eToro platforms. So Arc F, I've topped up and I'm quite happy where we are, and it's the second highest conviction on my eToro, and I'm very, very comfortable. I could sleep at night. And also, arc w i've top up arc w again it's been a long time since i top it and i did top it up why because they could grayscale a bitcoin grayscale bitcoin to write with the bitcoin cryptocurrency and they've hold about second biggest holding in arc w i've bought it to write the bitcoin and also hopefully i can buy more bitcoin but it's now saying it's 52 everybody's waiting for the dip but there's not going to be a dip it's just going to go momentum stronger and stronger so, okay so next i want to speak about why did the stock market pull back on the dip but push the VIX high but before I go there a bit of half time sales pitch from me here is join my patron if you want my patron uh, the super fans group A has been maxed out I understood that it's been maxed out folks been asking whether they can join me so today as of tonight when I finish this video I will open another group limited to 25 folks that you can join me on my patron like what I've done today I've been telegram text messaging everybody to buy tesla to buy a trigger we've been discussing about stocks so this is my patron i actually connect with my closest super fan so i can guide you on your journey okay so that's a sales pitch over let's focus back on why the market dip why vex went to 23. So the market dipped because of profit taking and most importantly because of government bond yield increasing. Okay, so it's it's a zero sum error. When the government bond yield increase, inflation also increases. And when the inflation increases, people start spending less because things are getting more expensive. There's no jobs in the market due to unemployment. And then that potentially could pull growth stocks market down. So growth stocks like the likes of you know type of growth like Tesla, Twilio, all these big growth stocks will actually slowly come down. And the fact that we're going from from COVID-19 to post-recovery and it's also something in the back of people's mind on rotation of stocks. When I say rotation of stocks because with this high inflation it benefits the likes of gold, oil, commodity and also value stocks. You know those stocks that pays dividend as you can see the likes of Rio Tinto, the likes of all these high dividend paying companies like Chevron, Total, they all 
paying high dividends, they're all returning to dividend uh, payment to attract customers now. So therefore, you can see rotation. People are there in the crossroad thinking, should I leave my growth stock and technology into this uh, uh, recovery stocks again. So there's an element of complexity around government bond yield, high growing inflation, and that's one of the reasons why it's dipped. For the long term, we're not sure. For me, personally, I'm still convicted to growth stocks because I see growth stocks growing far way better with technological revolution ahead of value investing. This is where I come from, but there is no doubt that value investing still works. Like I said in my video last night, with Warren Buffett buying to Chevron and Verizon, he potentially could double his money in eight years. If eight years is enough for you to double your investment capital, then go for it. But for me, I want to see growth by 2025 because that's my retirement date that I've set in my mind, written on my board, my plans, how I retire, and value investable will not work. But conviction to the likes of Tesla, ARK Finance, ARK Q, ARK uh, Invest, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, potentially could help me leverage quicker, but obviously it comes with an element of a risk. Okay, so this is me for today's closing. Have a good day. Bye. See you later.